Dolphins, Mark Clayton and Mark Duper were an electric duo on the football field during the 80s and 90s and are still widely considered as one of the best receiver tandems in NFL history. CBS 4's Mike Cuno caught up with them in the Bahamas and learned these two are still dynamic as ever. <laughs> Sitting down with Mark Clayton and Mark Duper is like jumping into a time machine. While these two guys are a little older, the jokes are all the same. Like when I asked these two, who is the greatest Dolphins athlete of all time? Mark Duper. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hesitate, Clay. Just say okay. <laughs> they may not see eye to eye on everything, but they do agree on this. They were one of the original premier wideout duos, which helped the NFL evolve into a passing league in the 80s and early 90s. When Marino came in and Clayton, I was there already. And then when we hooked up together, it was like from a running game to a passing game. And then we turned around and the Dolphins invented this four wide, three wide, then four wide. We the one started that bar. Four now, verticals. Everybody's doing it now. <laughs> 85 and 83 combined for more than 17,000 yards. But while they helped change the game, a changing of the guard in Miami could have slowed these two down. We're in the fourth quarter. We're in the fourth quarter. Jimmy Johnson said he didn't want to go to the candy store with Dan as his quarterback as much as Coach Shula was relying on Dan and going to that candy store. So yeah. I'm so glad that Coach Johnson wasn't around when, <laughs> when, when we were around because we sure like Dan going to the candy store. Well, you know what? <laughs> if we was there when Dan and uh, uh, Jimmy was playing, that, we'd have changed the plays in the, in the you know. No, he told, he told Dan he could not mean, audible. But so we, gonna, we was going to audible anyway. You know that. As long as you audible and you make the play, Right. What can they say? What can they say? Back in March, the NFL said it was going to relax its rules against touchdown celebrations. And you better believe the Marx brothers were pioneers in that department as well. I, I never scored without doing something. I did dance and I, I spiked the ball almost every time. Oh, I spiked the goal, the crossbar, the goal post. I did something all the time. Duper didn't. I, I, I told Duper, I said, Duper. I, I did it one time. You got to spike, <laughs> spike the ball, do something. Just don't just, oh, man, come on, man. Give me something. Okay, so maybe one of them was the trendsetter. But no matter what, Clayton and Duper are the standard for Dolphin receivers. Fans are hoping this current crop can show flashes of those Miami glory days. Uh, everybody want to compare that receiving close to the Marks brothers in addition of, of our best friend, Nat Moore. Mm -hmm. Let me explain. When they get a few more years under their belt yeah. together, playing great together, doing things, winning games, making touchdowns, then you can come back and ask me that question. Right now, they're in a working process, but they're going to have to jail together. And I see it. Last year, we've seen it jail a little bit. Now, even though the Marks brothers aren't in the Hall of Fame, they sure did play a big game, combining for 140 touchdowns while in a Dolphin uniform. And maybe the most impressive part, they were both just about 5'9". Mike Cunio, CBS4 Sports.